Hello! In today's video, I'll be trying to make a large PCB that was edited with an online PCB editing software. Enjoy! Hello and welcome back. In this video, I want to try and take a PCB that I generated with an online PCB editing software and export it as PDF. I want to take that file, um, turn it into G-code for uh, the PCB milling and try to mill uh, the PCB board. It's a rather large board so it's going to take some time but I wanted to see if it's possible to get this working and if yes, well and if it works, uh, I want to see how the quality is and if these online tools are actually good enough to produce um, milling things. So I'm gonna get started now. Everything's set up, calibrate it, um, set to zero, and I just hope that it works. So from the results so far, we can already make out that this is not going to work. Uh, let's see if we can move this outwards. Oh, that's the wrong direction. So we can actually see that the cuts here aren't going all the way through the copper, um, which is due to the fact that this piece of PCB is just simply not flat enough. I am going to clean this off just a bit. Um, Because we can actually see that although this is a failed attempt, um, it's a very, it still is very good from the quality point of view. So the traces are pretty clear. The pads are big enough so you can still solder onto them, and the whole thing looks quite well. I'm gonna have to find another bit of PCB and uh, put that down and make sure that it's flat which is something that I didn't check for this one 
Uh, maybe I can find another one to use this. But the result is pretty good but nonetheless. Um, the traces look very usable. Let's take this off. So looking at them, you can see that these traces are fine and the separation is fine too. So although this didn't work, it is still an indication that this might be a nice way to go. And if we're not using the engraver but a laser, um, this should work even better. So this is maybe the next thing that I'm going to try out. Well, in the end I decided not to give up just yet. And I tried again. I sat the PCB down with a bit more force and I made sure that it is completely flat and I gave it a little bit more cutting depth. Um, what I got out of it is this PCB. Um, the size is about 7 centimeters by 6 centimeters, and the quality is great. Uh, I cleaned this up just a little bit to take off some of the uh, some of the shavings and some of the leftovers from the copper, and it looks almost perfect. In fact, it's so good that I decided I'm going to pitch this um, against the one that I am going to order, so I will not be putting this one together um, when the when the folks from the um, from the online editing software when they get back to me, I'm going to order um, this same PCB from them. And um, I'll test them against each other and have a look how they compare. Because th this isn't bad. This is about the simplest way of getting a PCB done. You edit it online, which is pretty simple and pretty smooth. Uh, you export it to a PDF. You turn the PDF into a toolpath for an engraver and you engrave it. And by the way, this engraving took about 2 hours and 35 minutes. So, and this isn't rapid prototyping, but it's still reasonably fast. So, this is it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll be back when I have something new to show. Thank you for watching and bye bye.